Hey guys, it's Final Master Link, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. So, last time we woke up as Sora here. <laughs> I still can't get over how short his outfit looks on him now. Because in, in the original Kingdom Hearts, it almost looked like pants or something like that. I, I don't know, maybe it was supposed to be shorts then too. It's kind of hard to tell. The, af the outfits in this game are so fucking goofy. Why don't you get a job? Why the fuck would I do that? God damn, trust trust me. Trust me, kids. Getting a job fucking sucks. 40 hours a week, and uh, granted, it's a bit better than, say, last year. Because last year, I, I was working kind of like 50-plus uh, hours a week. That fucking sucked. Getting a job sucks, kids. Unless your job is like doing YouTube like fucking PewDiePie. Hey, you. Where'd you come from? I think this cutscene is actually optional. We're not here to fight. Because there's no real reason to go to the Sandlot. Okay, smart Alex. Time to teach you how to behave in my town. Bring it. Man, what a jerk. Yep. He's a bitch, all right. One moment. If you're gonna fight, why not make it a proper struggle? What? You see, Cypher, I'm a really big fan. <laughs> he's basically a, uh, he's a fanboy is what he is. That's why that's why Cypher got kind of freaked out. Super cool moves, my fucking ass. Tournament with real style. And you absolutely dominated the title match. But I just can't get enough. Don't you see? He's a fucking fanboy. Far too short. And what's your name? Sora. Sora. If you want to fight a match, you just say the word. Okay. Great. Alright. So, uh, uh... One thing I actually didn't do... So, even though he said, you know, oh, compete in the struggle tournament, you can't actually do that. You can, like, at the end of the game. I kind of like that lightning bolt, uh... chain he's got. It's kind of neat. Kind of makes me think of Harry Potter, like the scar on his on his forehead. So yeah, what, what's weird is you can't actually struggle. So it's kind of superfluous what he was talking about. Maybe you were supposed to see this scene later. Um, actually, a uh, something appears here when you uh, revisit the first time. So that that would be the main reason to come here. But I don't think the struggle uh, game is unlocked yet. I'm trying to think of how many, uh, fucking, uh, how many chests am I, am I gonna have to get here? There's one there. There's one there. You know, at first I kind of thought Sora jumped a little bit higher than Roxas. He definitely jumps kind of weird. Well, still, that's a pretty high jump for a normal guy. That's like, what, three feet in the air? At least. Maybe even four feet. That's, it's <laughs> a pretty damn good jump, I gotta say. Um, okay, I know there's nothing in the mansion. Oops. Um, yeah, there's some bees here, but you don't really need to bother with them. I just want to get the treasure chest here before I forget. Because, uh, part of get if your guys are going up to the platinum trophy, then you do have to get, uh, fuck. Then you do have to get all the treasure chests in each world. So, because, uh, because that completes Jiminy's journal, you know? <clears throat> you know, normally we'd actually have a bit more health, like if we were on proud mode, but since we're on critical, it, it looks like Sora just barely has any health, doesn't it? Ain't that a bitch. It's gonna be kind of a bitch when we go into, like, Hollow Bastion. You might actually get your first game over there, if you haven't already. Okay, there's a chest over here. With those shard, another synthesis item. Again, I'll get over that later. Uh, I actually much rather do the synthesis uh, in this game than the first Kingdom Hearts. The first Kingdom Hearts, I think it's more of a pain in the ass than anything. Um, is there one like hidden around the corner here? No. 
Yeah, you can't actually access the jobs now. Why Why you'd want to, I don't know. Oh, actually, I think there's a chest up on top of there. Yeah, so this place is actually closed. Synthesis Workshop is coming soon. Yeah, like that model of that lady, she... I guess she retired or she died or something, like in the real world, so... You know, that kind of sucks. Okay, I think that's all the tr the chests in this area. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can buy an accessory if you really want to. In fact, I might do that when I'm in Bahala Bastion on my off time. I might grind a couple of levels. Although sometimes it's a bit superfluous because uh, you take so much damage anyway, you know. It's it's like it doesn't matter if your level is, you know, 13 or 17. Let's just go to the goddamn station. That doesn't look like Heartless, does it? So it's like, eh, uh, you know, they're in our way, we might as well kill them, you know. Defeat all the strange enemies. So this you'll probably actually gain a couple of levels from, because I think uh, these guys kind of keep, like, respawning. They're kind of worth a good amount of experience, so I'm about to gain another level up in a sec. So I guess this is more like a like a war of attrition. I don't technically know how long you're supposed to be fighting this for. See, there's the item boost, like I mentioned uh, when we made our selection of the weapons. Again, reversal would be pretty nice to use on these guys. Oh, you fuck. Damn it. Alright. You know, fairly, still fairly simple, you know, combos you can do with Sora here. Looks like he's really lost his uh, touch since the first game. In fact, now you think about it, you've lost your magic too. I can't use any magic at all. Fuck, dude. Okay, thank you, Donald. I was about to say, do I seriously have to use a goddamn potion right now? Alright. There we go. I hope I can make another level up. Oh, not quite. Yeah, I don't know if that's based on how many enemies you kill or how much actual time passes, but eventually you'll get fucking tired. Probably because you're so out of practice. Uh oh. Oh shit. It's a neat looking keyblade. You gotta board the train and leave town. The train knows the way. Here. I'm pretty sure that was King Mickey. The king? Was that really him? It could have been. Yep, I know it was. Now we know he's okay. I'm kind of wondering why, uh... The realm of darkness, right? Like, you see the silhouette of Mickey there? Like, why did they keep him so hidden in the first game? I don't quite understand that. If the king is here, that means Riku's I, here. Maybe they wanted to lead it up or something? Uh, actually, what I think it is, is, uh... When they were when the game was in development, maybe Disney went up to them and said not to directly portray Mickey in the game because you know that is their trademark. It's their 
You know, it's it, it's their icon. It's their it's their moniker. That's what Mickey Mouse has always been for Disney. So maybe they said, hey, don't portray him directly in this game. You know, we'll see how it does. If it's successful in the sequel, you could put him in or something. Because he's in Chain of Memories. Technically, he's a party member in Chain of Memories. Alright, we got a money pouch. Fuck yeah. There's 5,000 money inside for some reason. And we got a crystal orb. Pretty sure these were uh, from the Twilight Town. Well, from the from the prologue. And we got an answer report too. I don't really read those to be honest, but it is useful information for understanding the lore of the game. <laughs> I think there's 12 of them in total. You get them kind of out of order though. That's a little bit weird. You guys seem like jackasses at first. Especially Hater. Man, I gotta blow my fucking nose. That's gonna be annoying. I kinda, I kinda wonder how much the train tickets actually are. I, if you did, you notice how uh, she reached in her pocket to pull out the like the money pouch or whatever. Um, I heard from a teacher when I was doing a modeling program <clears throat> that they really haven't figured out a way to like have material within like a pocket in some person's pants and like pull it out from that. They haven't really figured that out because a student of my uh <laughs> student of mine. A classmate of mine was actually asking the teacher if that was even possible. And he's like, if you could do it, I'd probably recommend you to, you know, like, animation studios. Because that's apparently a big challenge they're facing right now. Uh, for some reason. I don't know. Must have to, must have to do with, like, the geometry and the programming and all that bullshit. Timetable for Sunset Station. Something's been bugging me. I wonder what that is. Online free of charge. You know the you never actually talk to the guy in here. You don't even know who's behind there. You know, it could be some uh, serial killer for all I know. About that bag of yours? Uh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, not yet. Not yet. I actually have to grab a couple things. Yeah, he's not hes not joking. We won't, we won't be here for a while, that's for sure. So I do want to grab a couple of potions. High potion here. There's a tent here. I, you don't really use tents that often. Except for a certain, like, kind of, I guess, minigame, you wanna, if you want to say. But you don't really use tents that often. I use tents a fair deal in the first Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. You actually can't go past here, it's completely sealed off, that kind of sucks. Of course, it doesn't really look like there's much anyway. In, um, 358 over two days, I think you can actually go to a special, like, train place. Yeah, you can't go through the, the train to the other place either, that kind of sucks. It cock blocks you. Alright, let's, let's go then. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Hey, Sora, you sure we haven't met before? Positive. Why do you ask? I don't know. Whoa, dude. God damn. What's up with that? It came from rocks as fool. That is a pretty uh, that is a pretty nice touch though to the scene, having that one little tear shed. It's got some feels. You know that's 
again, I have to emphasize, the reason why this game dragged into me so much is I didn't know Sora, you know? I was just like Roxas in that aspect, and by looking at the dreams, you know, kind of got to feel the character, you know? And then when you finally do meet him, it's kind of like, hey, you know, uh, you know, nice to finally meet you. I've heard things, I've seen things about you, but I, I didn't really actually know you. So I, I think that's one of the biggest reasons why this is my favorite game, one of my favorite games. It's probably why I enjoy the prologue so much, to be honest. It's kind of like unraveling a mystery, right? can't get over how rough those fucking models look. I, I understand this was the PS2, but... I'm sad. I mean, yeah, eventually. I also like the touch that he starts getting a bit depressed, but he doesn't know why. Pretty sweet northern lights there. Oh, this is an additional scene for Final Mix, by the way. Let's go. Go where? It's not like we have homes to return to. We don't exist, remember? Yes, it's true. You may not have homes. But there is some place I want to go. And someone I want to see. Same here. So, you think you might let us go? I know you're here to get rid of us, but... Diz wants to get rid of me? Go. You sure about this? I owe you both. For what? Castle Oblivion. You helped us. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. Thank you. Seems like Ansem here has a has a bit of a soft spot. Kind of, I still don't quite understand why he seems to be kind of a good guy, though. Because uh, he seems like the same exa exact guy from the first Kingdom Hearts, so I don't know what that's all about. That's a weird-ass looking tower, isn't it? Must be some kind of loser lives here. Oh shit! There goes our ride back. Well, that's a bitch. Alright, so we're at the tower. Oh, the tower. Oh. Um. Gonna get a couple of these chests here. As you can see, big fat ass Pete is literally right there. Something strange about this place. Yeah, I agree. Adventuring rolled number 17, collect information. Is that really number 17? I would think that'd be higher up the list. Get more of these high potions. Get some ethers. Uh, ethers aren't as useful as potions, but they're still nice to have. I mean, really, there's only like two or three spells throughout the whole game you're going to constantly use. <laughs> I sent some of my lackeys 
Man, what a dipshit. Oh, why am I talking to you pipsqueaks anyway? Go on, Scram. I'm behind schedule as it is. You ought to find something nicer to do. Oh, says who? Huh? Oh, it's you! <laughs> Pete? What are you two nimrods doing here? What are you doing here? You know him? We sure do. Pete's been causing trouble for ages. Now, I... When I first saw this scene, I assumed you fought, like, Pete as a boss in the first game. No, he was actually never in it. <laughs> you wanna know how, eh? Well, Maleficent busted me out, that's I mean, that, that's basically how he got back. No, no, no. All the worlds are gonna belong to yours truly. Cause, uh, Maleficent's gonna help me conquer them. Maleficent? Huh. That's the <laughs> witch we killed in the last game. <laughs> that's the that's the that's the joke. Maleficent's power is so great that she's toast. Huh? Sorry, but Maleficent can't help you now. What do you mean? You? So you're the ones that did it? Well, we might have had something to do with it. Uh, yeah. Considering she turned into a fucking dragon, there's not much else we could do. That was one of the best fights in Kingdom Hearts 1, though. That Malefic that Dragon Maleficent fight, that was awesome. They kind of kicked the fuck out of me, though, when I was playing, like, on Proud mode, though. Okay, defeat all the Heartless. Uh, I don't think they're worth as much experience as the other things. Yeah, just one each. Uh, I like how it doesn't show Pete's model at all. Like, you think he'd just be standing there or something, right? But nope. Alright. Man, he needs to work on his, uh... On his brigade here. These heartless suck ass. You just wait. Nobody, and I do mean nobody, messes with the mighty Pete. So, mighty Pete. Who lives in this tower anyway? Oh, you don't know, eh? Well, it's old Yen Sid. Of course, he's probably a heartless by now. Master Yen Sid lives here? <clears throat> Yen Sid is the king's teacher. Wow, sounds powerful. <laughs> I love that face he makes is there. And on a related note... The name Yed Sid is derived from Disney. It's backwards. Uh, probably a lot of people don't give a fuck, but oh well. Couple of chests here. I think I'll save real fast. Pete's a little late to the party. Yeah, we already killed her in the last game. Their last couple games. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. If I remember right, uh, to like the Kingdom Hearts like lore or story. Um, Pete was banished by, uh, King Mickey in, uh, Birth by Sleep. And that game takes place, I think, ten years before, uh, well, er, about ten years before Kingdom Hearts 1, so. I guess that would kind of make sense how they said, oh, the king banished him a long time ago. But yeah, Maleficent busted his, busted his ass out, so. Now, if you're not particularly careful, you may actually get a game over here. But there is a sweet reaction command that you can use against the enemy coming up ahead. So yeah, you're going to have each of these rooms, you know, defeat all the Heartless, blah, blah, blah. You want to look for that, um, for that reaction command. 
should show up soon. The enemy, that is. It's kind of random when they can actually, like, instigate the reaction command, though. Oh, okay, I guess this room didn't have it. Never mind. I hope I hope you get a level up before... Before we, uh, end the... The, uh, recording. I like how the door has an up arrow on it. Just in case you were a dumbass and couldn't figure that shit out. Duh, does this door go to the next room? Uh. You know, looking at this, it really makes me think of watching Fantasia. And I, I believe I've seen it before. Uh, I'm trying to remember when I last saw it, though. Because I, I, I know I've seen Fantasia 2 Fat 2000, like, when I was a kid. But the original Fantasia, I... Mm, I might not have never seen it. Okay, so the first kind of main difference... Uh, I can't really see uh, things in the way. You see that little, like, soldier there? Um, so what they do in Final Mix also, to, I guess, mix it up a bit, is they kind of palette swap some enemies... So normally that guy would be like a purplish sort of color, but in the Final Mix version, he's like a yellow color. But his parameters are like the, the same though, so he's he's not really that different in terms of like how you kill him. But they do have a pretty good reaction command. There it is. It's pretty sweet, huh? Maximum AP increased, magic increased. Cool. I forget what that reaction command was called, but just look out for it when you see him. I wouldn't say that. We we well, fought those things that are white. Job, then. So the worlds aren't at peace after all? Not completely. I'd say they're a little bit better though. Hmm. Yeah, let's go go in here. Aw oh, shit. It's a golden stairs. You know, it's a badass. Take that, bitch. Mm. I'm kind of kind of getting some gold or some money lining up, ain't I? 685. I actually started playing uh, Child of Light last night on PS4. It's, so far, it's a good game. I mean, it, it is an RPG. So I'm, I'm, I was probably going to enjoy it anyway. But it wasn't like a ridiculously long RPG. Like, I, I think I looked it up. I think it's like 15 hours long, which to me, that's fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Why are his eyes so fucking big? I always wondered that about Yen Sid. Have you seen the king yet? Yes, we did, master. But we didn't get a chance to talk to him. Yes, the king has been quite busy of late. Therefore, it would seem that the task of instructing you three falls upon my shoulders. You have a perilous journey ahead of you. You must be well prepared. You mean... We have to go on another quest? I was looking forward to finding my friend Riku, so we could go back to the islands. Yes, I know. However, everything in your journey, Sora, is connected. Whether you will find your way home to the islands, whether you will return alone or with your friend, and whether or not the islands will still be there. And the key that connects them all is you, Sora. I'm... the key? Chosen wielder of the Keyblade, you are the key that will open the door to light. The 
This book contains valuable knowledge you will need for your journey. Study it carefully. Once you have finished, we will speak of the enemies you will surely confront. Uh, yeah, you're actually required to go through this book. Kind of dumb, but... Actually, let me get this chest. So the big chests are always the uh, map for the area. So keep that in mind. Well, typically they're in the map of the area. We have to read the book like Master Gen said. We've been asleep for a while, so we need to go know what's been going on. Yeah, that's true. This is a strange tower. I wonder why it was built. Adventure in rule number eight. Search every corner of a new place. Uh-huh. Sure thing. Uh, let's go to the beginning. <coughs> um... Each journey gives rise to chance encounters, and each encounter brings forth a farewell. When a farewell leads to a journey, the worlds open their hearts. There are those chosen by the light and those ensnared by darkness, friends who share the same bonds, though their paths may di differ. When you doubt the path trod thus far, when the hand you knew, when the hand you held is lost to you, gaze anew at the heart that once was, for all the answers are within. <coughs> All right, let's go to interlude now. A long dream, a sad farewell hanging in the air in that world between. What is reality? What is illusion? The path chosen by the young boy leads to his memories. When caught in the stream of the days and nights going past, gaze anew at your steps, for there all confusion will end. Sounds like it's kind of talking about Sora, actually. The future story. Let's look at that. Uh, will the day come when this battle born of confusion will end? It is different things to different people. Can the reality be that which is hidden? The reason is mere existence. Still memories can be believed. Be not afraid and trust your body to the soothing waves of your memories. By and by your fleeting rest will be over and everything will begin. If you say so. Uh... So, with that, let's actually talk to him. Do you have any questions? Actually, yeah, I do. Because everyone always has questions. How come the Heartless are still running around? <clears throat> Your past endeavors did prevent an immense effusion of Heartless from the Great Darkness. Make no mistake about that. However, the Heartless are darkness made real. And darkness yet lingers in every heart. The heartless are fewer, but while darkness exists in a single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. Gorge, that must mean if everybody's heart was full of light, them heartless would go away. Tuh, good luck doing that. It is That's all I can say. Speak of the enemies that you will encounter. Oh, it's Donald. <clears throat> Aww. If one such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart, they too will become a heartless. But you know this. <sighs> the heartless are always lurking and ever seeking to capture new hearts. Never let your guard down. Now then. At times, if someone with a strong heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a heartless, the empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. An empty vessel whose heart has been stolen away. That's very interesting. Goes on even as its body fades from existence. For you see, no bodies do not truly exist at all. No bodies may seem to have feelings, but this is a ruse. They only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. No bodies. 
they don't exist. Well, clearly they do exist. They're right there. The being you see before you is known as a dusk. They are the most common form of nobody. But there are others, some larger, some with frightening and unique powers. Be vigilant. On your journey, you will meet an alarming number of dusks. They will all attempt to do you harm. Still, they are nothing but empty shells destined to return to darkness. But... The beings you see before you now are different. These powerful nobodies have formed a group called Organization 13. It commands the lesser nobodies. Organization 13? While heartless act on instinct, nobodies function in a higher manner. They can think and plan. And it seems they are working towards a goal. What that goal is, we do not know. The plot thickens. The king sensed the danger <clears throat> and journeyed forth to fight it. He found the Dark Realm's keyblade <clears throat> and with it closed the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, fighting the heartless as he seeks the answer. To the riddle of the nobodies and organization 13. Then I guess we better go find the king first. What else would he be? Well, we won't know till we look. Yeah, and the king must know where Riku is, because the two of them were together in the realm of darkness when we closed the door. You know, after defeating Ansem. So, before you go, you will need more suitable traveling clothes. Those look a bit too small for you. Yeah, I've been saying that for ever. You'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Gore, Sora. You sure are growing fast. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I think in the first game, uh, Sora was actually shorter than Goofy. Now that's not the case. I guess unless you count Goofy's hat, which I don't. Well, then again, looking at Sora's hair, he, if, if he would have gone bald, I'm sure he would have lost an inch, at least. Um, okay, so yeah, we're going to go to the fairies. They should be able to hook us up. And of course, they're the fairies from Sleeping Beauty. One of my favorite Disney films. Me, you guys, Riku, and the King. I don't care who this organization is or what it's planning. With the five of us, I mean, six of us, there's nothing to worry about, right? Yeah. Yep. Um... An image of you utilizing your strength to its fullest flows into your mind. Uh, you see, each of these mirrors actually has foreshadowing. An image of you utilizing your magic to its fullest flows into your mind. You look at this one, an image of you obtaining old powers flows into your mind. These are actually the different um, powers you're going to get throughout your journey. An image of you possessing all abilities flows into your mind. An image of the Keyblade unleashing its ultimate power flows into your mind. An image of you overcome by the power of darkness flows into your mind. So, yeah. Interesting, interesting. And we're going to open this here, Mithril Stone. Let's, let's talk to these fairies here. Uh, I think we have to talk to the... I think that's Meriwether, isn't it? I forget what, what this fairy's called, honestly. I think one, I think the blue one is called May. Well, look who's here, dears. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. 
Oh, if you're looking for clothes, you've come to the right place. I'll do the designing. They actually sound a lot. Maybe not exact, but they sound a lot like the actual fairies from the from the movie, so I I'm a bit impressed. Oh god. We're gonna be here for hours. They do this shit. One turns it red, one turns it green, one turns it blue. I mean, god damn. That's not improvement. Oh boy. It's nice to, it's nice to know they threw in a little bit of a, an inside joke, because this is exactly what happened um, in Sleeping Beauty when they were making Aurora's dress. You just decide. <gasps> I don't know why they sounded so offended by that. You're literally wasting time. Together now, dears. And no more squabbling. Oh, oh shit, dude. Oh, it's lovely. That looks pretty sweet. Oh, yes. He does look very dashing. Yep. In fact, I think his outfit is pretty close to this, from what I understand in, in Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, what is that? Let me get that shit. Whoa! Whoa! I just went Super Saiyan. Holy shit! Now we can dual wield. So suck my dick. This journey's going to be twice as difficult as your last. And, and I expect in Kingdom Hearts 3 we can wield three Keyblades. That's what I expect, you know, like hold one of our, hold one in, in in each hand and one like with our feet or or one with our mouth. I expect that. That better be in the next game, god damn it. So fuck yeah, we just got Star Seeker, which is, I mean, it's better than your Kingdom Key, for sure. And we got Valor Form. With, Goofy, with Goofy's help, use the Drive command to change into Valor Form. Which I'm going to be showing some kind of tips and tricks to utilize the, the, uh, the Drive gauge. Yeah, it absorbs party members' strength. The party members disappear while transformed, so that kind of sucks. So if I go to this, it'll uh, get rid of Goofy for a bit. So yeah, I, I told you one of these mirrors, um, is an image of you utilizing your strength to its fullest flows into your mind. That sounds kind of like Valor form, doesn't it? Doesn't it? So anyways. Yeah, 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 I need friends to unleash their power. Yeah, they always will sacrifice, um your party members, except except for one transformation, which I'll get into much, much later. Yeah, that's, that'll be pretty sweet. And so another thing that's exclusive to Final Mix is when you try to leave the tower, something will fall out. Huh? I think you dropped something. Yeah, you dropped your pocket. It must have fallen out of your pocket. It looks like a crown symbol. Part of a picture. Is this a gift too? Oh, we don't know anything about that. But if you found it in your pocket, it must have something to do with your adventure. Hold on to it. In fact, you should hold on to any other pieces you come across during it. Yeah, you should. Because when you uh, combine the pieces together, it's basically to it's basically to make a picture. Uh, it's like a it's, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. And so when you Yeah, some of them are kind of tricky to get, honestly. But when you combine them in, like, the journal section of your uh, menu, you can actually get some pretty good items. So, I'd highly encourage you to collect all of them. Plus, you know, it gives you playtime. So you guys ready to go? Now, now, just a moment. Be 
because of your previous endeavors, the worlds have returned to their original states. That means the pathways between them have disappeared. How do we get around? Do not fear. If what the king suspected proves true, the worlds have prepared new pathways along which you may travel. These pathways may be utilized by unlocking special gates. How these gates are opened, I'm afraid I do not know. However, the Keyblade will serve as your guide. When a beam of light radiates from the Keyblade, return to the gummy ship. Though the worlds may seem far apart and out of reach, they nonetheless remain connected by invisible ties. As do our hearts. Our hearts are connected. That is correct. Got it. But be warned. As you proceed, the Heartless and the Nobodies will be using their own paths. Corridors of darkness to travel from world to world. They may be attempting to link these dark pathways to the gates between the worlds. How does that fair? Now then, that is all the information I can give to you. Go forth, Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Everyone is waiting. Okay, let's get going. Master Lightsaber! We sure do appreciate the help. Say what? Um... Where did Yen Sid go? I I've what always wondered that. Oh, that can't be good. It's that goddamn crow again. Haven't we seen this somewhere before? Yes, dear. I wonder whose it was. Oh, Malefa! No, we mustn't remember her name. Oh, dear. She was a mean old witch. Oh, no. The memories are coming back. What'll we do? Oh, what'll we do? Uh oh. Uh oh's. Perhaps we should tell Master Yen Sid. Yes, that's what we must do. Hurry. God damn. Sure got the laugh down. Whoever voiced her. You know, now they think about it, who voiced um Yen Sid in this game? Considering uh considering the movie's like what, uh fifty years old now? Oh, I wonder who they got to voice him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yep, only one place we can go to. Yeah, ain't that a bitch. Wait, I think it's a world we know. Yeah, you can use the left stick to fly the gummy ship, try to approach the world at the bottom of the screen. When you arrive, you can press triangle. There's actually a slightly weird way you can do it. You can actually warp to it. By Okay, so what you do is you, you press R1. And you can, like, adjust the, uh, thing. The game never tells you about this, but you can do it. And you can just hop right directly to it. It's fucking weird, though. So, uh, with that being said... I'm gonna save. Uh... I'm probably just gonna make this two, two separate videos. But I'm gonna save now. 
So thanks for... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.